Hello, my name is Denny and this is my plant-based journey and today we're going to make hummus. We're going to use two recipes. We're going to use one from uh, Rip Esselstyn and uh, it came from the seven day uh, rescue from the engine two program. And then the second hummus that we're going to use is one that I picked up while I was in Cleveland last week and uh, it is a sweet potato hummus and it's made by his mama. It is Mrs. Esselstyn and Esselstyn's recipe. And so we're looking forward to trying this uh, and comparing the two, mother versus son. So we're going to make both of these recipes. We're going to give them a taste test and you can make your own opinion. Tell me what you think. You make them and see what you think about these no oil hummus, no tahini hummus. I'm looking forward to it. Let me start by sharing the recipes with you and then I'll show you how I make the hummus and then we'll do the taste test. Okay, let me share Rip's recipe with you first. Uh, it begins with a can of chickpeas. Now, I made a double batch of this, so I used two cans of chickpeas, no salt, drained and well rinsed. Two large cloves of garlic, I used three or four little ones. Uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Uh, two tablespoons of water. Black pepper. One and a half tablespoons of brown mustard. A quarter teaspoon of salt if you desire to use salt or you can leave that out. You blend them or chop them in your food processor and that's what I did. I used a food processor and uh, then you can go to town, eat away. I put it in the refrigerator and let it set for about an hour uh, along with uh, the other hummus as well. So let me show you what Rip's hummus looks like in the assembly process. All right, next, let me show you the recipe for the sweet potato hummus. And I think you'll really enjoy this. I had this during the presentation uh, last Friday. It was great. I really loved it. I, I know I talked about it on that video and I've mentioned it to several other people who I've talked to online uh, and in person this last week, just thoroughly enjoyed it. So we decided to make some, I made some here this evening and let me just share you the ingredients with you. Uh, one large sweet potato, just like with the previous recipe, I doubled it. So uh, two large sweet potatoes, it calls for one large red bell pepper that you blister on a grill or roast uh, seed and then you uh, remove the skin. But what I did is I just bought a jar that had already been done and I used, um, it calls for about four ounces. I used, you know, about seven or eight ounces uh, by eyeball the best I could. And then uh, three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice one clove of garlic minced, again I used two or three little ones, a half teaspoon of ground cumin, and a pinch of cayenne, and I have to admit I put more than a pinch. Uh, I like it spicy as you know, and then it calls for a tablespoon of parsley sprinkled on top, and I did chop up the parsley, but I didn't put it on uh, for this purpose. We're gonna give it a taste, but first, let me show you what that looks like in the food processor.
Okay, first let me start with rips. As you can see, it looks really good. It looks just like hummus. I know that this will uh, last really well in the refrigerator, but it won't last very long. I will also tell you that I had supper tonight. I had uh, a huge bowl of my um, taco soup that I already shared that recipe before. I made a batch of that yesterday and I've had it for a couple of meals. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I tell you that because I wanted to be satisfied. I wanted to be full so that when I'm tasting these ingredients, these hummus recipes, that I wasn't craving food or wanting to eat. I wanted it to be something where I was, uh, you know, a little more uh, objective rather than subjective. So let me try this hummus and I'm going to use a baby carrot. Now I'm going to use a cherry tomato. All right, the verdict is in. This is really good. I enjoyed it. I can sure taste the garlic. I can taste the lemon juice. I, I like it. This is going to be good as a spread. It's going to be good uh, with some of the vegetables uh, that I showed you just a second ago. I'm looking forward to having more of that uh, in my meals tomorrow. Okay, next is the sweet potato hummus. And if you'll notice, it turned out very red. And the red color wasn't from the sweet potatoes. As you saw earlier, the sweet potatoes turned more white and a light orange uh, when I baked them. I did want to say I cut them up into smaller pieces and baked them so it would cook quicker uh, rather than taking a long time in the, the oven. Um, and it seemed to work just fine. So let me taste this one also with a baby carrot and then a tomato. Oh, that is so good. It's sweet. I'm gonna get the tomato now. It's sweet with a little bit of that garlic and uh, you can definitely taste the extra cayenne. I, I would really like it. This is good. I gotta have some more. Okay, let me tell you, I don't know which one to choose. They're both great. That traditional hummus from Rip is so good. It really is. I can definitely see me using that as a spread on bread. Uh, I don't eat bread very often, but I can see uh, that being a sandwich spread and then putting some potatoes and tomatoes and cucumbers and squash and lettuce and having a big sandwich. I, I can see that being great with that. I can see it with the vegetables. I was tempted, I, I, I will just tell you, I was tempted to cut up some fresh jalapeno and mix in there. And I may do it with about half of that uh, and make one that's a little more spicy. But uh, I went ahead and made it like the recipe tonight uh, just to share it with you. I, I really enjoyed the sweet potato. I, just like I did last Friday, I really enjoyed it today. Uh, it's a sweeter flavor. I'm not a big sweets person. Um, I'm more of the savory, spicy person, but having had dinner a little while ago, that sweet hits the spot and it's very good. It's just got something special about it. Both of these recipes are going to be in my recipe book for a long time to come. I enjoy them. I hope you'll try them and then tell me what you think. What's your favorite hummus recipe? I can't choose between son and mother. I, I can't. They're both fantastic. They're different, 
but they're both fantastic. So tell me what's your favorite. Try these. Uh, if you don't have either one of their books, get their books. Uh, look at the other recipes available to you. So, you know, it's been a, a good day. I've enjoyed making both these recipes. They're very simple. It's going to be a great snack. It's going to be great with my meals in the next couple of days. I'm going to carry some with me as I go on a trip this weekend. And uh, I, it's, it was just good. I really like it. And the best part, neither one of them have oil. So give them a try. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Uh, help me out, if you will, by doing those things. And let me know what comments, questions you might have. Uh, if you have something you'd like me to try, a recipe that you've always wanted to see, uh, send it my way. I'll be glad to cook it, prepare it, and share it with you. Even though I'm full, I think I'm going to have a little bit more hummus, and then it's time to hit the sack. My name is Denny. This is my plant-based journey. You have a great weekend, and make some hummus.